Hey everyone! The response to last week's video was fantastic, the one where I show you my finishing process for boards. And I really, really enjoyed that. So I figured I would show you another tip that I learned a while ago, and it should save you a ton of time. So let's get started. So for the experiment that we're going to do today, I'm going to use this little piece of walnut. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand both sides of the board to simulate it going through my planer. Normally when I pop the grain on boards, I generally do it, I plane, I spray it with water, and I start sanding. I know that's not the way that some people do it, that's the way I do it. I've had good results that way, I'm not changing my ways, you don't have to tell me how you do it, this is how I do it. But one of the annoying parts of doing the process of popping the grain is that when you spray the boards with water, it does take a really long time for them to dry. So I was told by AJ at Crafted in NJ that if you just mix your water with 50% isopropyl alcohol, the dry time goes down dramatically. And I've been doing that for a while and it feels like it's faster. But in order to tell you guys it's faster, it's probably a better idea that we actually test it. So the first thing we're gonna do is run the timer on how long it takes to dry with just plain water. As you can see, 23 minutes and 49 seconds, which is not a whole lot of time if you're doing a bunch of other stuff, but in reality, if you're only in your shop a limited number of days and you have boards to get done, every second you can save makes a difference. So like I said, I've been doing this process where you take the water that you grain pop with and adding isopropyl alcohol. Let's see how good the difference actually is. We went from 23 minutes and 49 seconds to 13 minutes and 49 seconds. Now, I readily admit that when I did this board, there may have been inconsistencies in how much water I applied, but I was trying to get even coverage. Did I measure out the amount of water and put the same exact amount of water on every board? No, but in your daily shop life, you're not gonna do that either. You're gonna wet the board until it's wet and you're gonna wait until it's dry. You may start sanding it before it's completely dry. Hell, sometimes I do. But I think the point is that if you do this method, you're cutting that time almost in half. And your time is worth a lot, especially if you're making stuff for customers. I'm only in my shop three days a week now, so I need my time here to be as condensed and efficient as possible. So for me, this trick is a major time saver. If you regularly pop the grain in your woodworking projects, it would definitely benefit you to take a 100% water mixture and change it out for a 50% water, 50% isopropyl alcohol mixture. And important to note, I did this with 70% IPA. I did not use higher, like 90 or 99, which I can't even get ever around here. So you can use the really cheap stuff and it still makes a really huge difference. I hope this video saved you some time. I hope you liked it. Um, if you're happy with it, you want me to do more of these, drop a comment down below. I really look forward to hearing from you. Um, if you have a different process and you found something else out and you want me to test it or show it, by all means, let me know. I'm more than open to suggestions. Anything that can make my shop time a little quicker is a good thing. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, share, all the YouTube stuff and I'll see you next time.